Today I'm making a tier list of all of the footballers I have ever filmed with uh, in my time on YouTube. I do just want to say anything I say in this video does not reflect my real views. Please do come and film with me again um, and you know, uh, I'm sorry. So first of all, I've come up with five categories. So we have GOAT, Elite, Solid, Average and then a bin. With all tier lists I feel like someone has to go in every category or it's pointless. Also I am now just realising that putting it average instead of right in the middle, putting it second to last is that's really offensive. So the first footballer I was ever lucky enough to film with was Ryan Bertrand and I played him in a game of FIFA 16, I think. Hello guys, it's Chris here and welcome to a very special- You can tell I am absolutely bricking it. He actually followed me on Twitter afterwards. He was really nice to film with, so we're gonna start off with solid. The first thing you do when you get FIFA is it to just- Oh, hello. The corner to the edge of the box. I, I mean, I literally don't, don't exercise. <laughs> I've seen it against numerous people. What an experience that was filming with my first professional footballer, and uh, I walked away with a dub as well. Next up, we had Yaya Torre. So we turned up to the Manchester City training ground. Genuinely, one of the most incredible places I've ever been to. They've got like 15 football pitches. They're all amazing. Yaya was so. So nice. I might revisit that, but I think Yaya has to go and go. Yaya scored the winning penalty in the League Cup final. Liverpool's Manny's team. Yeah. But, um, the whole video was about nominating him for African Player of the Year, and I think he lost. Sorry about that, mate. Yeah, it's just stuff like here, for example. Like, he just offered to go and goal. You know, a footballer doesn't have to do that. They could just stand there and literally do what they've been signed up to do, you know? Also followed me after that filming, and still does to this day, so um, hopefully still, uh, still enjoys the tweets. After that, we had Alex Awobi. I think this was in about a week of each other, and I was just, this is the first time I properly filmed football challenges with footballers, and I was like, like, what is my life? Oh my god, I just remembered. Okay, so the shoot got pushed to 3.30, I think, at the school AstroTurf, and it, it was like a secondary school. I don't know why I didn't point out that that might be a problem coming into this. Me, Manny and Alex Awobi have stood there on this football pitch. The bell rings and literally, I'd say probably like 600 kids empty out to the uh, the outskirts of this football pitch. And there's, there's genuinely hordes of children just like pressing against the gates, shouting. I was like, this is what I'm gonna see in hell. We had to get the teachers to come out and like basically get these kids to just like go home. Oh, okay, so you can see there's still a fair good amount of kids watching. Like there's a decent audience. And I just, I just couldn't do this rainbow flick. Like my entire video <laughs> revolved around me doing rainbow flicks. And because we were wearing trainers on AstroTurf, I just couldn't do it. It was so bad. Because he was sort of our age, he really understood that I'd been in front of cameras and YouTube and stuff. Hi. He followed me at the time, but I think he's unfollowed me since then. <laughs> I don't know which tweet was the final straw. We're gonna go with Elite for Alex Awobi because he was he was such a boy and put up with me attempting 10 rainbow flicks in a row and failing. Next up, we had the collab with Man City where we got taken to, we was, this is just absurd. Like, it takes a little while for you to sometimes look back on stuff and be like, and, and it fully hit you. What the hell? They took us to Abu Dhabi. We stayed in the hotel they stayed in. I'm lost for words for how we've scammed this. Anyway, so we filmed with Sane, Caballero, De Bruyne and Sterling. Let's start off with, Sane didn't speak very good English at the time, so I <laughs> I don't think he quite understood the video concept. Like a few of them, when I explained it to them, there's a few blank looks. But he went in goal and you know, like, they, again, they don't have to do that. They can just stand there and refuse. And I'd be like, fair enough. He had a couple of good one-liners in there as well. So we're going to give him points for that too. So I'm out. No goals. Ah, yes! <laughs> <laughs> you only ever click on a tier list to see people get abused. So like, I don't want to be too nice to all of them. But I've got to spread these out so Sane can go in solid. Just just a very solid performance in the videos, really. Oh yeah, I forgot about this as well. Guardiola had just finished like a meeting with them or something. And um, as the four players come over, they're like playing with a tennis ball. Willie had a tennis racket and they're like whacking it. And like he hits it and it comes so close to hitting me and Simon. Like, this is before we've said hello or anything. It literally almost kills one of us with a tennis ball. And it was like, well, well, that puts an awkward spin on the hello. So I think he's got to go an average for that. You know, lovely man, lovely to film with, but you know, for almost taking my head off with a tennis shot, sorry, mate. You definitely would have taken Simon's head off before mine. Raheem Sterling, one of the nicest people I have ever filmed with. It's just so nice when like players treat it as like a kickabout because you feel like they're genuinely enjoying it. Sterling's like celebrate, he, like he's so into the video which just absolutely makes it. We finished filming and he just like 
just starts having a nutmeg war with me. And it was just like, if I accidentally kick this guy, like, I'm getting sued 60 million pounds. So, like, that's just the kind of person that Sterling was like when we were filming. Just, like, very down to do anything. Really nice, like, makes you feel comfortable. So, do you know what? Raheem is also going in GOAT. He was an absolute hero to film with. Okay, now, Kevin De Bruyne. <laughs> Oh god, I can't believe this happened. What are the chances? Like, De Bruyne goes in goal to be nice. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Man City uploaded this first before Simon, and they, they showed like six replays of it. It's just ruthless. What a hero. And he took it so well. Because if you're a professional footballer, you get hit in the face by some YouTuber thinks he's cool, does a Rabona at you. You can literally be like, send him on the plane home now. If De Bruyne says send him on the plane home now and just storms off, like me and Simon are being sent home, you know? Mate, he has to go into GOAT for that. He has to go into GOAT for that. Then we move on to my first, no, my only experience at uh, London Colony, Arsenal's training ground. What a ridiculous day that was. So for this video, I was told that I was filming with five Arsenal players, but I didn't know which ones it was. And so on the day, I literally found out that it was Sanchez. And I was like, oh my god, like I have a banger. That is amazing. So first up, we had El Nenny. Mo El Nenny is going in solid because he shafted me, otherwise he'd be higher. Next up, I think was Rob Holding. He's going in elite. He was a hero. Like, just it was so easy to just chat to him. Hey, you got another stun that'll get raised now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll leave now. <laughs> I saw him after the video, like when we were at the back of the reception, um, Aaron Ramsey like jogged past me in the training ground and I was like, I've got to play it cool, I can't, I can't, I can't say hello. Yeah, we're back in the reception and like we just bumped into him again and he was like, oh, how'd the rest of the video go? And it was like, again, you're a footballer, like you don't have to ask me that. Carl Jenkinson, a bit of a hero as well, obviously uh, Arsenal Twitter revolved around him for a few years, very nice to film with, so uh, I, he can go in solid as well. Gabriel, very scary man, couldn't envisage him seeing the funny side of my YouTube channel, but he was a hero as well you know what happy to get involved with everything so he can get solid and then we have alexis sanchez obviously the biggest player of the video this was when sanchez was like ridiculous as well alexis was probably the most competitive person in this video oh. i think his english was the worst out of the people we filmed with but like again just so happy to be there so start the video right we do rock paper scissors right at the start of this i win and then he just takes the first kick and i was like <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> Do you want to just take the rest of mine as well? I think he, he's the first one that goes in bin. Even if there's a language barrier and he hasn't quite understood. You can't just lose a rock, paper, scissors and then decide to not accept the result. It's not how it works. Oh my God. And he, he put his arm around me. It, th this wasn't me instigating this as well. I was like, don't make this weird. Hector Bannerin. Oh, I know people must be wanting me to just throw someone under the bus here, but it's really difficult because I genuinely haven't met a footballer who's been a dick, which is quite annoying for, you know, storytelling and anecdotes, but yeah, Hector's and goat, he has to be. What a, what a man. I just love how he goes against the, the classic image of footballers anyway. But yeah, meeting him, he was just so lovely. He was really easy to film with. He just understood YouTube. So like he was going up to the camera and just talking without me. He's actually good at free kicks, you know? So I've got quite a bit of pressure in here. What are you saying? Well, nothing. Also, to be fair, like usually I only have like, it's usually like, you know, 10 minutes to half an hour with footballers, but with uh, Bellerin on this day, I had, sorry, Bearing. I spent the entire video pronouncing his name wrong. We had about five hours and like for filming with a footballer for five hours, like that is an obscene amount of time. This is probably the best I've ever performed in a video. Just my free kicks were seriously on point and you know, all the, uh, Ollie was on point with his goalkeeping as well. Followed me afterwards, still follows me to this day. Occasionally gives me the old like on my tweet. So if I can make a new tier for him, I would. Moving on, Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, how am I gonna clickbait this one? Me and Sham were in Mykonos, uh, our big summer holiday. Cut it short by three days. I don't think I even asked her. I just, I was like, you know, there's, there's not a question of whether we're going or not. Got copyrighted by La Liga because I stupidly used some footage of Ronaldo playing football, but you know, it's only 18 million views later and I've earned nothing from it. According to Shannon, looks more attractive in person. Where's my guy? What the hell? Like, what the hell? This is the one football video where, like, I have been sweating. No, I, I wasn't, like, sat in a corner doing breathing exercises, but, like, I was I was just making sure that I was sort of breathing slowly before this, because, like, I could feel my heart rate going. But, like, once you get into it and you realise that, oh, hang on, Ronaldo's actually really sound. The second video with him, the fact that, you know, they liked my first video enough to 
invite me back and film with, you know. <laughs> Essentially my biggest collab ever. And look at this color coordination. This wasn't even planned. Oh, I was such a fraud. I was such a fraud at this table tennis. I can't, I didn't, I really wanted to ask him the question about Messi, like would they ever play in the same team? Obviously Ronaldo, the media portrays him as this, you know, arrogant, um, you know, self-absorbed guy who shouts his teammates. And like, if you watch the, the actual games that he plays in, he, he shouts at himself. And it's just how competitive he is. Ah, he, I feel like he has to go and go for being one of the goats. And he just like stays around taking photos with people in like photo booths for ages and chatting to people that he doesn't have to. Like it's sick to see Ronaldo being so humble. So he's got to be in goat. He has to be. Then after that, I had Cesc Fabregas. I filmed with Cesc Fabregas, my absolute childhood hero. I was so. So excited to do this shoot. It was ridiculous. Somehow says Fabregas agreed to playing through balls to me. So the first thing about Fabregas, when we got there, he walks around and shakes the hand. I, I've said this in a video, but he walks around and shakes the hand of every single person who's there. He's down to do little sketches with me and stuff like that. What a man. I'll have a little review of this at the end and, and see if I've got, because I, I know I'm aware I'm putting lots in go and that's just a bit boring, but Fabregas, like, oh, what a hero. So I did five challenges in this video, right? One of the challenges that I was gonna do, I knew this one would be a little bit questionable, but like, I turned up, right, with three frozen pizzas, because this was like a week after he'd announced on A League of Their own. He was the guy that threw pizza at Sir Alex Ferguson in the Battle of Old Trafford. Were you the culprit who threw the pizza? Yeah! I bought three frozen pizzas from like Morrison's. I was like, feel free to say no to this one, but we could do a little crossbar challenge where we where we throw frozen pizzas at the crossbar and see how many you hit with it. <laughs> he was like, you're crazy. Like, people are gonna hate me. He followed me afterwards. I think this happened a couple of times where I've tweeted, not tagging him, and he's just replied to one of my tweets. Cesc Fabregas just replies to one of my tweets. What, like, what? I honestly wish I could just go to 16 year old me and just blow his mind. I had a little while until my next one. Gareth Bale. Now this was on a shoot for Nissan, I do believe. We stood there for maybe two, three hours. Uh, the, shoot, the shoot was like a, a, a decent shoot and me and Bale were filming like these reactions to Champions League goals. We'd film one and then we both stood up and like in between these goals, it would take them a little while to like get the, uh, the, the next goal ready and stuff. So just had a really nice chat really for like <laughs> two hours. So when I met him, I was like, I was sweating loads and I was like, mate, I'd shake your hand, but my hand is genuinely disgraceful. So I'm not going to shake it. And he was like, I don't care. Just shake my hand anyway. And it's like, oh, that's cool. But yeah. Just had a really nice chat about golf. Uh, he recommended me a place to eat in Madrid. One of them is mine. So, so no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Laughed at, you know, all the right places. He's definitely going in elite. And then we have Kevin De Bruyne again. I have already put him in GOAT. I was gonna rate him twice because the second time round was when we did that video where I'm currently meant to be playing against Kevin De Bruyne. He's a little bit late, so I'm gonna play a little practice game against Ollie while he's here instead and um, kind of get a bit of practice in. Uh, actually, do you mind if I go to the loo quickly? Yeah, yeah, no worries, go for it. Oh, that was quick. Yeah. Sound. Let's get into it. I imagine him, imagine putting up with this. Oh, Jesus. Goat, he has to be a goat for this. The idea of Chris telling De Bruyne about this Ollie is De Bruyne gag is so funny to me. I can imagine Chris just being like, hey mate, so on this channel we have an ongoing joke that Ollie looks like you. So you're just gonna have to pretend to be my cousin for the first part of the video, is that fine? Literally, that happened. He was so down to do it though. He was so down. All right, now you've mentioned it, I can't even look as well, so. Yeah, one sec. Oh, fine. So long. I'm ready to go now. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, what a hero. Honestly, this is like simultaneously the most proud and the most embarrassed I've ever been by something we've created. He stays in GOAT. He has to stay in GOAT for that. Okay, and then we have Zlatan Ibrahimovic. This video was a, it was a bit of a shambles. As soon as I uploaded it, I was like, this is crap. The video would have been so class, but I can't show you any footage of this because um, it, I never had it approved. Please to announce I'm teaming up with this guy. You know who I am. I can 
tell you Zlatan Ibrahimovic was. I think class is the word I'd say. Like, just great, very easy to film with him. He was, it was it's such a shame that I never got to show it to you, but uh, he was such, so class in the interviews that I was doing with him. He has to go in elite, he was great. And then my final football collab to date was Aiden Hazard. Oh, actually, well, technically the wrong players now as well. I'm just gonna rate Hazard because he was the main player in the video, absolute hero. He has to go in elite. Kicked the ball at Harry whilst we were recording at one point, which was just so funny. <laughs> I think that's gonna be, let's let's just revise the tier list. Is there anyone who's undeservedly in go? Oh, it's Sterling has to be, De Bruyne has to be, Hector yes. Ronaldo has to be, and even if I didn't think he was in there, I'd put him there anyway, just to see if I could get another collab with him. So I, I wanna weight it more towards average and bin, but like, I, I just, I, I would just have no reason to put them there. Gonna make quite a decent first 11 out of that. I, I think the best thing about it is being able to, like when people say, so, you know, when I explain what I do to people, they say, so like, have you filmed with any footballers? And I can now just reel off. Ronaldo, Zlatan, Hazard, Gareth Bale, Sterling, De Bruyne, Fabregas, like those are, unreal names. Sanchez, that's ridiculous. Anyway, that's gonna be my final tier list. Let me know if uh, you guys think that, uh, you know, um, what I've said or what you saw in the videos, there's some big upsets in here and uh, I need to change it and I'll consider. Let me know if you'd like me to do any more videos like this because I'm gonna try and um, throw a few more together on my second channel. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.